Hi, it's me, Keith Lemon. You can tell that because I've got Keith Lemon's face. And welcome to the Create and Craft YouTube channel with me, Keith Lemon. As I said, yes, it's another Keith Lemon's Crafty Doings. Today, I'm going to try my dab hand. I don't know what a dab hand is, but I'm going to try my dab hand at um, sculpting. Today, I'm making something Star Wars related, hence I have my Star Wars top on that I made out of a, a duvet cover. I'm making something for my offspring, um, who's um, in the past shown love for Spider-Man, but now he's obsessed with um, the Mandalorian and wants a baby Yoda. Hence, I am making a baby Yoda. Let's commence. Quick cure clay. Quick cure clay. I'll be painting whatever I make um, with acrylic um, paints. Um, I've got all the tools required. Um, these lovely ones. Um, Potter Select. I've got these tools here. And um, these tools here, these wooden ones. Right, let's get it open. Oh, it's a stinker. It's a stinker. There it is. It's like an uncooked sausage. I don't know. As soon as I hold some, it looks rude, doesn't it? Baby Yoda. So again, you don't have to be a pro, I guess. You've got to have a little bit of creative flair. Should we time-lapse this? Let's time-lapse. I'm now going to cure it with a tiny air dryer. It's a heated craft tool because uh, it's really floppy. When you cure it, it means it goes stiff. You can see that the black clay um, is quite messy. Ah, it's hot as flip. So it's gone from um, a sweaty, floppy texture to um, it's going hard. I'll make his body now. I think what I'm going to do in my mind, because again, I never plan, I'm going to make his hands out of this. Um, the rest of the body out of the black clay and then I might make his little robe on the sewing machine. Tip for you, if you're doing sculpting using this sort of clay, uh, make sure you do it in a room where you can open the window because it stinks like a metallic -y smell. Again, this is the first time I've done sculpting using this clay. Um, anyone who's watching this probably knows how to use these tools better than I do. I'm just I'm having a go at it. You can have a go at it too if you've never done it before. Just make my hands so you can see. So I'm not a sculptor. As you know, I'm just like a, a TV presenter of sorts. And um, if, if you are at home and you've got time on your hands, you know, order some clay and have a little go. Is that a hand? It's nearly a hand. I might do this hand in the position of doing the force when he's doing force. So you can see his little hands are done. There they are. Um, I'm going to do the body now. Probably be a big lump because I'm going to make his robe and put that on over the top. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? So I've made his body, now I'm just going to um, heat it up again. Six inches away, apparently. You can see I haven't done much with the body, really, because you don't see it. He's got a robe on, which I'm going to make on my sewing machine. I don't know if I should put the head on now. I'll have to glue that on, I think. I think what I'll do with this bit that's left over, I'll, I will, I'll just sculpt a poo and leave it on the floor and go, oh no, the dog's done the crap! Super hot. Make a cheeky poo out of this one. So apparently you can use any paints with this. I'm using acrylics. Um, I'm going to paint the head whilst the body is outside drying. I've got black everywhere. Um, I'm going to start painting it now. If I can get lid off of these paints. Just mixing it with a bit of green and a bit of white to get that Yoda colour. It's not Yoda apparently, but anyway, we're just calling him Baby Yoda for now. So as you can see, I don't, I don't really use a palette. I just mix it as I paint. Very lazy. OK, 
here, Baby Yoda is finished. I'll make his gown. Um, or, is it gowned or gown on uh, the sewing machine? And here's a sneaky little poo, which I'll place at the front of the door for their funsies. I'm gonna have to glue gun his head on, I think. Um, Cause I didn't think about what I was doing. Um, now I'll get busy making his robe. So I'm having to make his gown out of um, some old dust sheets that you would lay down if you were painting and decorating. I'm gonna have to sew it on by hand um, because it's impossible to get it on. You have sewn it together with a sewing machine. So I'm just kind of tacking it on in the position that I want it in. So I'm nearly done. I'm just gonna glue gun his head on, um, which is not something you do when you're sculpting. You don't glue bits on, but um, I didn't think, did I? So I'll just pop a bit of glue on there. Um, little tip for you when you're using glue sticks, how about sticking them in the freezer and um, keep them cool so they don't all stick together. I don't know if this is going to work, but um, I mean, it stays on anyway. It's not a toy, it's just like an ornament. Pop his head on. There you have it. Baby Yoda forward slash the child from the television programme um, on streaming device. I won't, I won't do too much advertising. Um, the Mandalorian. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Of course, there's my joke, Poo. Here you go, Jeff. Thank you, Daddy. Good night. Night. Always oh, dress as Spider Man. Well, I think that wins me Celebrity Dad of the Year Award, Jeff's Little Cheekbones, so swelling through the Spider-Man mask, overjoyed with the little baby Yoda forward slash the child from Mandalorian, which I crafted and sculpted from clay and painted with acrylics. For more Keith Lemon's crafty doings, don't forget to subscribe to the Create and Craft YouTube channel. I was Keith Lemon. If I don't see you for the week, um, I'll see you for a window. Thanks for watching. I'll have my tea and then I'm going to cause havoc with this fake poo. Dogs on the pole.